and welcome my dear students to my channel mathematics made easy this is miss ruchika welcoming you to today's session in today's session of your exam coverage for your final math exam for term 3 we are revising part 3 learning objective 23 and this is going to be the last video that will come on my channel for your exam coverage as we are finally on the last learning objective of part 3 that makes it a must watch video so do watch the video till the end and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more revision videos so in today's video we are solving question 23 where the learning objective is write and graph piece wise function these are questions 21 to 32 given in your math book on page 481 so let's solve question uh, 21 22 23 and 24 uh, first and then see how we are doing the graph so let's solve a uh, question 21 and 22 here and before we do that i would like to remind you that there is one video which i had made specially on uh, piece wise defined function from lesson 8 six special functions so it is recommended to watch that video for better understanding of piece wise functions how to graph them and how to find their domain and range before we proceed these questions so let's do question 21 there are three parts to it as you can see which are defined on different values of x so we are going to draw the graph of this function one by one it is going to be in three pieces or three parts the first part is given by y equal to minus 3x where x is less than equal to minus 4 so let me take the point Uh, x equal to minus 4 the first point when i take x equal to minus 4 as you see equal to is included the value of y is going to be minus 3 times minus 4 so uh, plus 12 so one point which i am getting is minus 4 comma 12 so let me plot this point so i go to minus 4 on the x axis and then 12 on the y axis now if you see carefully this point has equal to included so it's going to be a closed dot so minus 4 and 12 so somewhere it's going to be here hmm? now if you see this is actually going out of the graph but i have drawn a rough point uh, so this is one part of uh, the graph now let's come to the second point uh, where y is equal to x if x is equal to 3 or greater than 0 so let's go to the point x equal to 3 when x is equal to 3 y is going to be 3 so the point is going to be 3 comma 3 so it's going to be this point again there is a close dot here because equal to is included and now let's go to the left side when x is more than 0 so if i take x equal to 0 y is also going to be 0 but here there is no equal to so there is going to be a open circle at this point now let's connect these two so when i connect this this is one piece of the function which is defined by y equal to x from this point till above you have y equal to minus 3x this is another piece of the graph and the third piece is defined as y is equal to 8 so this is y equal to 8 remember it's a horizontal line and it's defined for Uh, x greater than 3 so greater than 3 means this point so i go to this point and i increase so when i do that y equal to 8 this is the point and at uh, at x equal to 3 if you see you have y equal to 3 also so this point is going to be close so there are three pieces 1 2 3 and this is how the graph is going to look like for this question let's do the domain and the range so for domain you have to take the input means you have to look at the values of uh, x so here if you see carefully the values which are there for domain and range are the following so the domain is going to be first it is minus infinity to this value that is minus 4 and then from 0 to 3 and then from 3 to this so i can write domain as minus infinity here there is a closed dot so x value is given by minus 4 union open 0 to infinity so remember domain comes from x axis range comes from y axis so for y axis we have all positive values that we are taking it starts from open 0 till 
infinity. So this is the domain and range. In a similar way, we can do question 22. Uh, there are again three parts, one part, two part, three part. So let's draw the parts one by one. So first part is y equal to 2x. And this is valid when x is less than or equal to minus 6. So if I take x as minus 6, y is going to be 2 times minus 6, which is minus 12. So the point is going to be minus 6, comma minus 12. Let's plot this point and it's going to be a closed dot because equal to is included. So minus 6. And minus 12 so it's going to be this closed dot and it will come on this side so this is the graph of 2x one piece now next is y equal to 5 so i will go to the point 5 this is point 5 and it is valid from minus 6 which is open so there is going to be an open dot at minus 6 so i will draw this open dot connect these two points and then it goes till 2. So x equal to 2. If you see the point is coming out to be 2 comma 5. So this is the point 2 comma 5. So this is how the second piece looks like. The last piece is given by y equal to minus 2x plus 1 for x greater than 4. So at x equal to 4, let's see what is the value of y. Minus 2 times 4 plus 1. So this is going to be minus 8 plus 1 so minus 7 so the point is 4 comma minus 7 and there is no equal to here so it's going to be an open dot so let me go to x equal to 4 y equal to minus 7 this is the open dot and the graph goes like this so this is the last part minus 2x plus 1 so you have all the three parts now let's write the domain so domain comes from x values so definitely the domain is going to be minus infinity to 2. At 2, if you see, it's an open thing. So you put it open. And here 2 is included. So I make it close. Union. Then comes 4, which is open to infinity. Why 4 is open? Because there is no equal to here. So this is domain. Let's write range here. Range is coming from the y-axis. So it is coming to minus infinity to minus 7. Minus 7 because of this point. Okay. And at minus 7 there is open. So I keep it open. Union. There is one point which is fixed here which is y equal to 5. So it's just one point. Let me write it. And along with that you have So this is your range. Now I have given the domain and range in the interval form. You can also give the domain and range in set notation form like uh, I will show you the answers in the next slide. Both are going to give you correct answer. Let's now solve question 25 and 26 on this slide. So question 25 is a question on piecewise function. Uh, so it's going to be in two pieces. This is the first piece where x is less than or equal to 0. So there's going to be a closed dot here. And x more than 1 is defined by y equal to x minus 4. This is going to be the second piece with an open dot because equal to is not included. So we'll first draw answer 25 here and do the graph. So for this one, let's take the first part first, which is given by, let me right here y equal to minus 0.5 x plus 1.5 so first point i'm taking is x equal to 1 if i put x equal to 1 here let's calculate the value of y that we get so y is going to be 1 so the point that i'm getting is x equal to 1 y equal to 1 at this point there is equal to included so it's going to be a closed dot so first we go to the graph and draw this point so this is the point 1 comma 1 we draw a closed dot and then we know this graph y equal to minus 0.5x plus 1.5 has a y-intercept. Y-intercept means the point where the graph touches the y-axis given you put x equal to 0 as 1.5. So it's going to be somewhere between 1 and 2. So the point is going to be here. So this is the second point. Now that I have the two points, I can join them and get the graph of this equation. For this part, so I draw 
please use a ruler in your exam for the same so i extend it in this direction so this is how the first part is going to be looking like remember the y intercept is 1.5 so the graph touches the y axis at this point now we'll draw the second part which is given by y equal to x minus 4 let's take some points here also so definitely first thing you have to know that if we compare this graph with y equal to mx plus b then the y intercept is going to be uh, minus 4 okay so this graph is going to touch the y axis at the point minus 4 and the point that we are taking here is x more than 1 that means if i take if I put in this equation x equal to 1, then y is going to be 1 minus this or minus 3. So the point that I'm getting is 1 comma minus 3. And at this point, uh, because equal to is not included, we are going to get an open circle. So let's go to the graph and draw this. So this is x equal to 1. This is y equal to minus 3. So at this point, I draw a open circle. Okay. And now let's see where, where this graph is going to touch the x-axis. It will touch the x-axis when y is 0. So if y is 0, 0 equal to x minus 4. So x is going to be 4. So the point is going to be x equal to 4, y equal to 0. So let me go to this point. This is the next point. And now I join these two. Now I extend it in the other direction. So this is how the graph comes out to be. Okay. So this is the second part of the graph. So this piecewise function has two parts as you can see here. And now we are ready to write its domain and range. Okay, so I'm writing it here since I have a little less space on this slide or let me write it here. So domain is coming from the x-axis. If you see all values of x, negative, 0 and positive are taken. So the domain is all real numbers. Let's write range. Range is coming from y-axis. So if you see this piecewise defined function is taking a minimum value at minus 3. Other parts of the graph are above it. So it starts from minus 3 and at minus 3 there is an open dot. So it's going to be an open bracket going till infinity. So this is the domain and range for this question. Let's now do question 26. Here if you see this is an absolute value function remember absolute value function is v-shaped graph and if we uh, compare this with the concept of translation x minus h we know this graph is horizontally translated by h equal to 2 so i can write here that this is the gonna be the graph of absolute value function which is v-shaped and it is translated horizontally on the right by two units. So let's use this thing for drawing the graph of 26. So we don't need any points as such. We are just going to draw the V-shaped graph and then move it on the right. So first I'm drawing the old graph, the V-shaped graph, old graph. This is the graph of GX equal to absolute value of X. But in this question, we are asked about this graph that means i'm going to move to the right so this point was zero zero when it moves on the right side this is the right side or positive x-axis this becomes the new point so i can make the graph like this and if i want to know what value it touches the y-axis i'm going to put x equal to zero so y is going to be two so this is going to be the correct point now i can draw so this black graph denotes the graph of fx equal to absolute value x minus 2. Notice you get the black graph from the original parent graph red graph by moving it on the right or translating it horizontally by two units. So let's now look at domain and range for this one for the absolute value. So if you see the domain is taking all values positive negative 0 so all real numbers and range is only taking positive values. Remember, absolute value function gives you positive result. It cannot give you negative. So the domain, uh, so the range which is coming from the y-axis is going to be 0 to infinity. Infinity is always open and you can close it like this. If this is your uh, range in interval notation, 
if you want to give your uh, domain or range in the other notation that is your set builder form you may also give it in this way that range is uh, equal to the set of all y such that y is positive okay or it can be written as the set of all fx such that fx is greater than equal to 0. So, all are correct and accepted answers. I hope you have understood nicely about piecewise defined functions and absolute value functions. So, let's now check the answer key for question 25 to 28. For question 25, the graph is going to be the piecewise function. Uh, you can see the domain and range. Similarly, for question 26, which is an absolute value function, so the graph is going to be a V-shaped graph. For question 27, it is a step function. And for question 28 also, the graph is a step function. So, this is the uh, correct graph for question 25 to 28. So now I am showing you the answer key for question 29 to 32. Uh, these are going to be the correct graphs. Thank you for watching the video. That brings us to the end of today's session. I hope you found the video useful and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe to my channel for more revision videos. And this is Ms. Ruchika wishing all of you the very best for your coming math exam. Do well. Bye-bye.